All right, welcome to another video. Today we are having a special video going on. We finally got some cards graded. All right, without further ado, we went with AGS, Artificial Grading. They contacted me on our Instagram and wanted to know if uh, we were interested in grading with them. They had a deal going on at the time where one of the cards that was graded was free. So I got eight cards graded, only paid for seven plus shipping, which was an unbelievable deal. Definitely, definitely a, a great deal. I considered going with them from the beginning as well as other ones. I, I looked at CGC, uh, SGC. PSA, back it of course, uh, but age, yes, artificial grading. I mean, with PSA and stuff like that, you never know if you got if, if you're gonna have somebody that had a bad day and they're just gonna take it out on your cards. So if computers doing it, artificial intelligence, you know, more likely there isn't gonna be no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So they're up and coming. So as soon as they contact me, I, I was down. So I picked some of my favorite cards. A couple of them aren't going to be the craziest value, but some of them are. Basically, all of them are my favorites, especially the last couple. So we'll go ahead and put them there. I definitely like the labels. The only thing I did notice is, like, if you don't get a the highest grade. Like this, I I can honestly tell that's not gonna be a ten. That'll probably be nine and a half, maybe ten. So on videos like this, where you gonna guess the grade, that kind of gives it away, but not as much. Still, I'm not gonna lie. Even the blue, that label looks beautiful. And the gold one. Gold's fire. So let's compare it to two other slabs. We'll go ahead and show you the first one and then I'll compare it with the other slabs that I have. And tell me in the comments below which one do you guys like. Or if you guys want to see us continue to grade with AGS or if you guys have another company in mind, definitely let us know. We'll go ahead with the first one. That label's crazy. So there is the first one. I know you guys might be thinking that. Eh, it's just a Snorlax promo card, but this is the Pokemon Center one. So, I definitely love the Pokemon Center one. These have become harder and harder to get. And, I ain't gonna lie, that gold label on the top looks amazing. What will be, I don't know, let me see. Oh, I do see that the centering... Centering is off a little bit. Look like it's a little bit more this way. Pretty sure you guys can see that. Let me see what the back looks like. The back looks the same way. The back looks the same way. The centering's, you can see the space on that side. It's more than this side. I didn't notice that, but I'm sure they did. Still looks like it got a different grade because uh, the gold label. And we got a 9.5 on that one. Beautiful. Beautiful looking card. And I agree with the great. The centering is off on that one. And I did look over these cards a little bit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get 10s in any of them from what I've seen. But we'll go ahead and go on. But at first I'll show you guys. There is a PSA slap. And an AGS slab. Not gonna lie, I do like the AGS slab. They both they both have their company dead center. PSA, no matter what grade you get, you're gonna get the red border. That goat looks amazing. I know a lot of companies either go with the clear background or the cloudy background, I don't know. I like the AGS. And they both have their logos on it. AGS looks like they have 
one on each side. PSA has the one on the front, the one on the side. And you know what? Let me make sure it's not. I want to tell you guys it has the one on the front. All right, so this is a PSA bag. Not all PSAs have that. It only has the one on the corner. I will show you guys another one. This is the Beckett off-brand right there. These were on the uh, mystery packs where you get a guaranteed graded card. And all their cards that I have seen, they're, they're the same. Got two of those. Ten. That one has an even worse label. It's like anybody can print that out with a computer and just stick it in there. Uh, that gives in spectacular as well. Besides that up top, there is nothing around the border that tells you what company this was graded. And, you know, these cheap slabs that you get from guaranteed giveaway, guaranteed slabs when you buy them at the store. I don't like those too much. I'm not going to lie, because these are probably, I mean, you can get clear cases like that and then just print your own label. You know I mean? So anybody can do a slab like that and say it's official, even though that is Beckett, but it's like Great Valley Beckett, but. That's enough with that, and the other one that I have is the Tuxedo Slab, which I'm not going to lie, I do like their slabs a lot. Do I like it more than AGS? Ooh, that is very debatable. I love the gold on that. The only thing I, I, I do like the black on this, where it kind of shows off the card a little bit more. But I was considering going with them, but they got bought out, or at least PSA is doing deals with them, and I'm not gonna lie, their prices have went up. So well, I don't know if I grade with them, but we'll see in the future. You never know if you guys want me to try them as well. We could possibly do that. You can see the space. Never noticed that before. You can see the space there. Almost like a machine cut it. But not, I mean, it's all right, but. And there, you only have the SGC on the top. I do like the tuxedo look, but I'm not gonna lie. AGS slabs have definitely grown on me. It looks amazing with the goat. Beautiful in the back of it. Straight fire. All right, so there is the first one. At the end of the video, please tell me which one's your favorite. So we're gonna go ahead with the first one, and now we're gonna move on to the second one. Let's see what the second one is. All right, here's another promo card. This one is the Pokemon Center Charmander. Let me see if I can find anything crazy on this one. Let me turn it around. I want to say maybe some whitening around there. The centering looks pretty decent. It looks like it might be a little down. I didn't use no centering tools or nothing like that. These are just some of my favorite cards up. Out of the new Scarlet and Violet. These are some of my favorite promo cards, especially the Pokemon Center ones. With a nine, I'll take it. It looks amazing. It says Charmander Black Star Promo, number 44. Beautiful looking card. All right, what will be the next one? We have the Pokemon 151 Zapdos. And this card, 
is one of my favorites, but I'm not going to lie. We have pulled it a couple times. And do I see anything crazy? There is maybe some whitening on the corners. I will tell you from what I heard from other Pokemon creators like Shiny Vert, that 151 is very, very tough to grade. This one got the gold label. So with the whitening, probably another 9.5. There we go. Which is not bad at all. Beautiful looking slap. Freaking amazing. I mean, look at that. I do have a couple more of these. Maybe I maybe I'll send them in. See if I can get a 10 on that, you know what I mean? Well, who knows? I mean, I, let me know if you guys like the AGS slabs because they're growing on me. They look amazing and beautiful. This one is, oh, this one came cracked. I will give you guys an update to where if we get that resolved, I'm sure I'll be able to contact them. So that is not a big deal. I will say shipping services are not the greatest they especially if they don't know what it is they kind of throw them up on the porch the discard i will tell you a story about this card let me turn around why this card i know for sure wasn't going to get a perfect 10 this is a this was from a mystery pack i have the link down below sadly the company don't do mystery packs no more but i got an older pack out of it and Pulled this from it, which is the best card out of that set. But there is um, some waiting there. Sally, one of them I caused because I seen the one and thought, don't ever do this. I thought it was a dust or a little, maybe a little. Yeah, I thought it was dust. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I went to go scratch it off <laughs> and gave it the other whitening. So the other, the more whitening was caused by me. So if you see a speck of dirt on your cart, I would say maybe take a, a small cotton, cotton ball, very gentle, and brush it off to see if it's off. If not, maybe take it aside and shake it, but don't use your nail on it. I can't believe I did that, but still a beautiful card. It has Gyarados on it. It has Greninja on it. I love Greninja. Try and get the Greninja off of Twilight Masquerade. So this one with that whitening, the centering looks pretty good. Maybe eight, because I because I messed that up pretty good. Oh, I got a nine. I'll take it. Beautiful looking nine very amazing i will tell you if you submit with them once it's shipped do not look at your account all right like because they tell you you will see the grades once it's shipped so if you want to do the videos like this where you're surprised be patient do not do not take a sneak peek because once it's shipped it will if you scroll it'll tell you your grades so let's go to the next one we have one of my favorite cards. It's not the craziest price card. I know the Japanese one is a lot more expensive. But this card right here is, it might be my favorite card out of the bunch. Because for some reason, if I see these for sale or if I see them for sale and I'm able to, I'll buy them. I got probably, <laughs> not even a lot, three to four of these maybe even five and this was one of them so who knows maybe in the future i'll try to collect all of them uh this one i'm not gonna lie me and steph looked at all of them and thought this one might have been one of the best condition one and let's see centering looks pretty good I'm 
Ah, uh, it's a little off on the top, maybe. Who knows? Well, this this was not the Otis card. The Gyarados was Gyarados was X and Y. And there's the Sun and Moon. Probably it's either a 9.5 or a 10. Either way, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be happy with it. So 9.5, I'll take it. Beautiful looking card. Love the gold and the silver. It kind of blends with it beautifully. Love the card. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks amazing. Alright. That card was awesome. And here we go. I was kind of wondering, like, that's that's one of my favorite cards that just in the game. I'm just thinking, what other cards did I... I forgot what I put in there. And it took, like, less than a month to get the card back, in case you guys want to know for reference. I think it's 20 business days. You got to include the weekends and stuff like that. And we did have a holiday in the mix. But this is the Darkness Ablaze Charizard. I'm pretty sure this is the top card of that set. Not the most expensive card. I'm I'm not a... I told you, none of these cards are going to be like the craziest prices in the world. This is just my favorite. So, this was one of the Charizards I pulled. And... Let me see if I can see what is wrong with that. The centering on the front is kind of hard to see. Centering, oh, all right. The centering is off a little bit. Well, maybe all four sides. It looks like it's down a little bit too much on that one. And maybe off. So, see why I got the blue label. So, 8.5, maybe 9. I'll go with 9 because this is such a beautiful card. And we got the nine. Nine on the Charizard V Max. Boy, is that a beautiful looking card. I'm not gonna lie as well. That blue with the card. It look it looks it looks good. It complements it. Very cool. What cards would I have? Uh yeah, I'm getting I'm starting to forget what cards I had. All right, I'm not sure what card that is then. I will say, I know this Charizard is not the craziest Charizard in the world, but compared to the original, this is the first and only one I ever pulled that resembles the original. So to me, this has a special place in my heart. We're not a big channel or nothing like that, so I don't have crazy amount of money to spend on getting the new packs who knows maybe someday in the future but for me this was a big deal who knows I mean I'm a family guy so I can't be born I'm not gonna take money out of my kids mouth to go hunting for the real one or not like that so to me this was very special I did it on YouTube pulling it and I know the centering wasn't crazy on it. I mean, I got a gold label on it, so it's either nine and a half or maybe a ten. I forget. And this card is pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. The centering maybe off a little bit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We got a 9.5. And again, with the grades, they complement the color of the cards. You can see. Beautiful. I think it's gorgeous and amazing. And now I forget what that last card is. This card. It was an exciting and beautiful time when I pulled that card. Alright. What will be the last and final card? Alright, definitely got a 9.5 or 10. Which I haven't gotten any 10s, but you know, artificial grading. If there is one thing, you're not you're not gonna get that 10. But these cards do look amazing. 
off center, yeah, not so much. Oh, maybe, maybe a little whitening on the corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see what we got here. All right, this I forgot about. I gotta put this card in there. This is the Obsidian Flames Charizard. For some reason, people did not like the Obsidian Flames Charizard. This is probably. The biggest hit out of any set that I was able to pull more than once. I got two of these. Maybe I'll send the other one in as well. And this is like uh, when the set came out, I was able to pull, pull this one. Some of the other ones, like the 25th anniversary, I got it way after it came out. I do got more 25th anniversary videos coming out I got the Amazon edition that comes with a lot of goodies stay tuned to that one so I got the Amazon celebration pack coming soon this car is beautiful let me know what you guys think about this car I don't know if people didn't go crazy it's not a crazy value but as far as the channel goes this holds a special place in my heart I was able to open two of the top dog cards and I got a 9.5 on that one and I'll take it this thing is a thing of beauty so I didn't put too many Charizards in there just two Charmander but Charmander didn't evolve yet so beautiful looking Charizards and they are both 9.5s they look fantastic I'll take them beautiful looking cards let me know what you guys thought of this grading video, the, the AGS slabs. Um, I will put in the description below what will happen with the Gyarados. Oh, let, let me know which one of these was your favorite. So, my personal favorite. Ooh, that's a rough one. I have a thing for the Jesse and Jane one. Uh, that's like me and Steph want to take over the world. You know what I'm saying? People trying to stop us all the time. And uh, I only got three. Oh, I have three Charizards in there. I, I was wrong. You guys were probably commenting, hey, dummy. <laughs> there were three of them. <laughs> but, anyways, not too bad. It's Jesse and Jane. Has a special place in my heart because that's one of my own favorite cards to get. I haven't pulled it yet, but I buy it all day, every day if I see them at a good price. Gyarados, because I love Greninja and pull that card for a mystery pack. I think I might have got this just from the single pack of Darkness Ablaze. And I already told you why those two got a special place. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I did get in contact with AGS about the crack slab, and they said they're going to take care of it. They gave me a label to put on a envelope, sent my card back to them. So it's currently on its way back to them. So they're going to re-slab it for me. And I think that was very nice of them to do. So there's a little update for you guys. All right, so finally got the last and final update. I was able to get in contact with AGS, and my return is back. Here it goes. Wanted to wait until I got the card back to give you guys a full video. And they honestly took care of me. They did not know I was going to be making a YouTube video about it, so it was nothing like that. Wanted to be 100% honest. Got into contact with them. They were nothing but supportive they were very helpful got got in contact with them kept in contact with them they talked to me the whole way through and here it goes it's not cracked no more very amazing Gyarados EX from Breakpoint such an amazing and beautiful card and now it's not cracked definitely Definitely love the fact that they were able to take care of me. Um, I'm going to continue getting more cards graded from them. They got my support 
customer for life basically I might try to see other companies got but I'm going to continue grading with KGS they were they were amazing their slabs look fantastic and wanted to give you guys a final update all right there it goes oh, and who knows maybe I'll make more memories with more cars that I pull in the future definitely stay tuned consider subscribing and see you guys on the next one all right later